So the timescales, we can't be certain on timescales. What we do know is that Madeline was put to bed when Jerry, in the apartment when Jerry and Kate and the other family members all went to an area which was called the Tapas Bar, which was in, in essence within the same resort, but not accessible by a straight path from the bedroom or the, the apartment to where the Tapas Bar is. So to try and give it in context in a visual way so that your listeners can understand it is what basically happens is that you've got the apartment block and when you come out the back of the apartment block, it takes you down some steps onto a footpath. That footpath runs along a road which is outside the apartment. You then go down that apartment block and you have to then turn right into the apartment through an opening which would take you back into the apartment complex. So in order to move from the apartment where Madeline was sleeping and to go and meet her parents who were in the tapas bar, you had to go out of the compound onto the public road, back into the compound to go and see them. They were some distance of probably 80, 60 to 80 yards away. There was no line of sight. And by line of sight, what I mean is that sat at the tapas bar, you couldn't see anybody that came or went from the back of the apartment. So anybody could have walked up there and they wouldn't be seen. There wasn't a clear line of sight. So what happens is uh, Sean, Amelie, and Madeline are put to bed. Jerry and Kate go over to the tapas bar, leaving them asleep. Nobody else uh, with them. There's no adults there. And leaving the back door slightly ajar. The reason being is it's very hot and they were trying to allow some kind of airflow through that apartment. Uh, they hadn't taken up the offer of uh, babysitters. Uh, and what we do know in the days prior to Madeline's disappearance is that Sean and Amelie had woken up on occasions crying. Uh, and that had been heard by a neighbour who had heard the children crying. And so uh, Jerry and Kate are at the tapas bar. Now, there was an agreement amongst their friends and there was a group that went together. There was an agreement amongst the friends that they would check on each other's children. So they would go back at different periods of time and check on each other's children. There was a check that was done by one of the family members, which was, again, around about half eight, nine o'clock, something like that. And the view was that there was uh, that Madeline was in bed. Now, at no stage did anybody and, and a friend checked as well as, Ge as Jerry says he checked. At no stage did anybody actually go into the room and actually physically check that they were in there. And in fact, Jerry's statement himself is slightly confusing because he talks in terms of going and checking, but then he also talks in terms of listening at the patio door or, or at the door of the bedroom without going in. So slight confusion in terms of what actually did happen. But suffice to say, nobody saw Jerry, nobody saw Madeline from the period of time that Madeline was put down. Nobody independently did put down and the alarm was raised. Now, the alarm was raised somewhere of time around 10 o'clock uh, when uh, Kate goes back and identifies that Madeline is not in bed. The only things that were missing was her cat, her, her, um, from the bed was, was Madeline. Um, her cuddle cat was there, which is kind of like a little teddy bear. That was still in the bed, uh, but Madeline had gone. And then that, the alarm was raised. And the result was that the local police turned up initially. Local police over there have very little crime experience, don't really know what they're doing. They're more local issues. Uh, and they very quickly called in the PJs, but they had to come to the the, um, the kind of like the crime investigation police. Uh, but they had to come from, I think it was from Lisbon, but they certainly weren't in the locality. It took them a couple of hours to arrive. And at that point, by the time they arrived, the whole, and let's call it a crime scene, the whole of that apartment block had been trampled on, not just by Jerry and Kate and the other family members and friends, but also by almost everybody from that um, apartment block and the, and the campus. 